welcome back to the farm today i'm showing you an artwork that i made recently it's two-sided one side this side has a flap and this side this is kind of like a a wish board for the next year 2023 i made it with a friend of mine on the solstice and she does this every year this is the second time i'm participating and the project is basically get a bunch of magazines or whatever and collage what you hope to see in the next year in your life or in general. So yeah, this is kind of project is pretty hard for me, but I had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun magazines. So let me give you a little bit of a tour through what we were going for. So the main thing that I wanted to focus on in 2023 is balance and maintaining balance in my life that's been very challenging for me in the past so I am aiming for balance so I wanted to have that in my work and I think of balance more like circular rather than just like one thing versus another um, and in fact I think of it as like spherical all around me and I want to maintain balance circular so this painting I would I part of what I was aiming for artistically was to make it look kind of balanced regardless of which way you look at it so it has circular rotational balance which is very important for me to maintain balance in many different axes it's not just one thing versus another so anthuriums this was the first piece that i picked and it came from local art magazine kaola which I encourage you to check out if you're ever on Hawaii Island. Um, and they, they highlight local artists. And this one was made by Miss Jane Chow, who was originally born in China and then went to Taiwan and then came to Hawaii. So she paints in sort of a traditional Chinese style, but the colors of Hawaii. So I had her anthurium, and I put them here because I love anthuriums. I want more anthuriums in my life all the time. And in fact, it's already started working because yesterday I got a bunch of free anthuriums. So stoked. And then this part, this gray part, is also from this magazine, and it's She Niimiwahi. Grew up in Pa'aoila on the Hamakua coast. So yeah, this is hers. I don't know what plant that's supposed to be, but I thought it was so beautiful and it went really well with this and I do want more leaves in my life. This wreath, also from this magazine by Marty Victor Campbell. That is the creator of the wreath and it includes mountain plants like ohia, which we have a lot of in our area and lichen. And basically it's kind of like a circle of healthy plants that also looks beautiful like yes that's what i want this is what i want in my 2023 um then in the corner i have some kalo aka taro always good to wish for taro and to hope for plenty taro i have the ocean over here hope because i always hope to have more ocean in my life and on this side there's also some ocean some sky um because i do want to have a lot of ocean in my life and i also included these this was like an ad for some jewelry like hawaiian airlines something but i do like stingrays i do like turtles and i think of them jeweled i like them better alive than in jewel form but i am hoping for some money <laughs> better a better a more balanced financial situation um in 2023 so i thought i'll include some jewelry that's like money right gold and like I also was thinking about like how much of my if, if this board which is from it's like a daiso board two-sided board very pretty for making like fancy paintings um i also it's like how much of the year or whatever of my life do i want to focus on a particular thing kind of i i made it more or less prominent um so it's like i know i'm not going to get too much ocean in my life because i live kind of far from the ocean but i did want to include that and i want things like the kalo to be balanced with the money time to be balanced with the ocean time 
to balance with the Anthurium time, but obviously Anthurium takes up more time just because it's so beautiful. You know, it's like, how can you even resist? And the Anthurium is coming off the page because something I want to do with my art in 2023 is more push myself to go beyond what I've done in the past. And this is kind of a metaphorical pushing, like take more risks. And also plants grow past whatever boundaries you might set for them. That's just kind of like how they do things. So I wanted to kind of honor that and remind myself of that, make it asymmetrical because, you know, you can never really have something that's a perfect balance. Something's always going to spill out. But to kind of remember that that's how plants work, that's how anthuriums work, and they spill out more beauty and joy and life. And those are, you know, this is what I want in my life. <laughs> then this area I covered, this is like washi tape, and I want stars because I always like seeing the stars. Um, I saw someone recently online who said yesterday was my first day seeing the Milky Way. And I was like, that's really amazing because I remember the first time I saw the Milky Way. I grew up in a city, so I didn't get to see too many stars. And the first time I saw the Milky Way was amazing. Now I get to see it really frequently and I have to remember how much that means to me and how much I love to see starry skies, right? I want to see starry skies in 2023. There it is. And then I decided to add embellishments, like just make it more decorative and use washi tape because that's also one of my goals for the upcoming year to use washi tape more. I have a lot of washi tape and I want to incorporate more into my art. One thing it does really well is provide decorative elements. So I did that. And so this like kind of goes with the aquatic right? This is kind of wavy and turquoise. And then this is kind of like, oh, we're going from the blue sky to outer space and then deep space because these are like dark purple. <laughs> I know it's all very deep. Um, so yeah, that's the main. Oh, and of course, how could I forget the main thing? Go for a walk. This is what I added last because I realized I had a hole in the middle. I was like, geez, what am I going to put in that hole? It's going to be in the center. It's got to be big. It has to mean something. So for me, go for a walk is both literal as in uh, I need to remind myself to go for walks more. I love walks. Um, and it's also I, I get a lot of therapeutic benefit for like my mental health and focus and everything if I move my body and go outside. Just like be outside and move my body. So go for a walk is like the very simplest thing you can do. Um, I mean, go in the garden. It's it's a, it's also like, it, it's like instructions for myself. Like if I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. I like look up at the wall and I see this and it's going to say, remember balance. Remember the plants and how they go over. Remember that you wanted to see the ocean. Remember, focus on your taro. And part of that, usually what I need to hear most is go move your body. Like if you're not feeling good, go outside, go somewhere, get moving. So go for a walk is both literal because it's like, the least you could do is go for a walk, but it can kind of, it mean it like opens up to like all these other meetings, including go move your body. Remember you're in a body. So that's the front. And then the back, the back, I wasn't even sure if I was going to do a back, but then I decided to go for it. And what we have on the back, the central point here is this large, beautiful image. I don't remember if it was from National Geographic, maybe Scientific American. I don't know. But it's just this beautiful illustration of fish. And it has, I mean, I just love it. it has, it's the kind of art that I love. Um, and it's on an aquatic theme, which I'm, you know, I'm all about the ocean. I think a lot about the ocean. I identify a lot with the ocean. Um, it's good for me to remember the ocean and that it's alive, that it's filled with all these creatures and that in a lot of ways, you know, we're similar to them. We're just in, uh, you know, our medium isn't water. Our medium is air. But, you know, we all are just swimming through the sea of life, man. Um, so I did this and then what did I add? This is a wraparound from the front that's like related to this taro thing this was all part of the same image so i just like wrapped it around and this has azola which i do need to focus on in this year because my azolas have gotten a little sad so i included these 
this nice fish illustration. And again, I wanted to include more, uh, tell myself to include more washi tape. So this is washi tape. These lines are washi tape. This is all washi tape. So just like remember to add, it's like a message to myself when I look at it, remember to add, remembered you wanted washi tape a lot. Um, then there was like a magazine with some, uh, you know, like self-help type stuff and listen to your wisest self, stop, recognize that strong emotions are present, take a breath, you know, that kind of thing, really hard for me. I kind of get stuck in, uh, in difficult emotional states and can't get out. So it's important for me to like, if I don't know what to do, just like read these things until they get st stuck in your mind. Then um, I wanted to do a pop-up, or a f this is a fold, but it's in the sort of pop-up genre of things. Um, we, are, we have entered the third dimension in our art. And so I wanted to include that in this as like a reminder, like, don't forget, you wanted to do pop-ups. You wanted to do three dimensions. It's like calling out to me. <laughs> don't forget, you want flappy bits on everything. But I also had an extra piece which is also from this fish thing. And it reads, recent studies are revealing that fish don't simply yell and shout however and whenever they want. They fit their voices together like an orchestra of instruments in a melodic musical score. <laughs> which, first of all, I didn't know that, that fish are out there yelling and shouting in general. But now that I know that they are and that their their voices fit together like an orchestra of instruments that's just like so beautiful and i feel like it has like a lot of meaning for like our lives um what do i have i had a leftover image this is a person walking with either a dog or a cat in a field and they're like in a golden field of sunshine so this is related to take a walk right this like don't forget this is you this is what you do you go out and you go be out in the plants that's what you do then um what else i had the back of the anthuriums right so i had this piece that sticks out and then i had the back and it was just like ads so i was like oh i have to cover it and also, I recently got this set of wintry themed washi tapes, which I kept hoping I would use for Christmas cards, but it ended up coming a little bit late, and that's that's okay. But I was like, don't forget, you want to use your winter card. You want to use your wintry tape. Put wintry tape on everything. So this is all wintry tape, just to remind me. Like, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. And then the last part was... Keep an open mind. And here I was covering up some text, as is usual um, in collage. You're covering stuff up and highlighting stuff that you like. And again, this was from like a self-help thing. It came from the same thing as these like self-help thingies. Um, and I was waffling between... There was one that was like... Um, something about like your inner critic. And then this one was keep an open mind. And I was like, well, which one am I, do I need to hear more? You know what I mean? Like, which one do I need to be reminded of every time I, like, look up and see it on the wall? Um, and I think, you know, I'm pretty aware of, like, inner critic type stuff. But what I do get stuck on is actually keeping an open mind, primarily about my own capabilities. Um, and so, and also I added washi tape around this just to add decorative. And I don't know if you could tell, but I left it unfinished like keep an open mind see it's open it's open ah! and i have no meaning regarding the fact that it goes to the azola or any of this stuff so as you can see this is kind of a mixture of meaning and just making things look pretty and solving artistic problems like having text there um but it's also about what I want to see in this coming year. I tried to, you know, put all my, everything I wanted into this and the whole thing. Oh, it gets covered with like clear, this is like packaging tape, which is very nice. Gives it a very nice sheen. And for our climate where things get moldy really often, it's absolutely imperative. So I hope you enjoyed my tour through my year wish board 
Um, do you make something similar? Do you do things to like help you at the new year, whether it's artistic or otherwise? You can tell me in the comments. You can see if you wash your tape. Oh my god, I love washing tape so much. And see this one, you can still read it, even though it's like kind of covered, but you could still read it and like you could focus on it. And the tape is already coming off, but that's okay. So yeah. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year. Bye!